we de dedicate ourselves to the nation, the tricolor and its significance. स्वतंत्रता दिवस समारोह के मुख्य अतिथि राज्य के आदरणीय मुख्यमंत्री महोदय राष्ट्र ध्वज फहराने के बाद अब जीप पर सवार होकर परेड का निरीक्षण करेंगे माननीय मुख्यमंत्री महोदय जी के साथ जीप पर आदरणीय डीजीपी महोदय तथा परेड कमांडर डीवाई एस पी पूजम बोची हमारा गर्व हमारी शान राष्ट्र ध्वज लहराता हुआ इस देश के जनतंत्र की आकांक्षाओं का प्रतीक और मां भारती के सपूतों की उस संकल्प को दोहराता हुआ ये तिरंगा हमारी शान है विश्व भर में भारत की ये अमिट पहचान है यह तिरंगा विश्व का सबसे बड़ा जंत्र जनतंत्र है यह तिरंगा विश्व का गूंजता एक मंत्र है उपस्थित दर्शकों का अभिवादन स्वीकार करते हुए माननीय मुख्यमंत्री महोदय सफेद जी पर सवार धीरे धीरे सभी प्लाटून की ओर अग्रसर होते हुए आर ऑनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर स्कॉटेड बाय द डीजीपी इन एन ओपन जीप इंस्पेक्ट द परेड वाइल एक्नोलॉजिंग एवरीबॉडी प्रेजेंट हियर बिस्टोइंग हिज लव हिज ब्लेसिंग्स एंड एक्सटेंडिंग हिज सपोर्ट टू एवरीवन प्रेजेंट हियर waving to the crowd and warming up to everybody this ladies and gentlemen is symbolic of a true democracy as we celebrate this auspicious day together and our elected representative our leader honorable chief minister inspects the parade उपस्थित दर्शकों को स्वतंत्रता दिवस समारोह का शुभकामनाएं देने के साथ साथ सभी उपस्थित दर्शकों का अभिवादन स्वीकार करते हुए माननीय मुख्यमंत्री महोदय अब धीरे धीरे सलामी मंच की ओर वापस आते हुए 
waving to the crowd, the audience present here in this 78th Independence Day celebration here at IG Park Itanagar. Honorable Chief Minister Pema Khandu waves to the crowd, warms up, and slowly after the inspection of the parade, returns back to the salute base. हमने सदियों में ये आजादी की नेमत पाई है सैकड़ों कुर्बानियों देकर ये दौलत पाई है मुस्कुराकर खाई है सीनों पर अपने गोलियां कितने वीरानों से गुजरे तो ये नेमत पाई है माननीय मुख्यमंत्री महोदय अब सलामी मंच की ठीक सामने वापस सलामी मंच की ओर अग्रसर परेड को मंच से गुजरने की आज्ञा लेने के पश्चात परेड कमांडर डीवाईएसपी पूजम बुची अब अपने स्थान की ओर अग्रसर आज के इस बात ही पावन अवसर की शुरुआत एक विद्युतीय मार्च पास के साथ जो सभी प्लाटून सब आपके समक्ष प्रस्तुत करने को पूरी तरह से तैयार मार्चिंग केवल कदमों और गठन से कहीं अधिक है वास्तव में यह अनुशासन एकता सद्भाव और धैर्य का एक सुंदर चित्रण है और उठाया गया हर कदम प्रत्येक टीम के दृढ़ संकल्प और समर्पण का प्रमाण है परेड कमांडर और परेड ट्वाइसी मार्च पास के लिए अब अपने स्थान पर आइए इस नजारे को बड़े उत्साह के साथ स्वीकार करें वो खास क्षण है जिसका हम सभी बड़े बेसब्री से इंतजार कर रहे थे मार्चिंग ट्रैक पर सबसे आगे परेड कमांडर और परेड ट्वाइसी और पहला प्लाटून 138 बटालियन सीआरपीएफ की जिसे कमांड करें इंस्पेक्टर एमडी नूर आलम और प्लाटून ट्वाइसी है हेड कांस्टेबल अशोक कुमार Ladies and gentlemen, these smartly uniformed parade contingents signif signifies the strength of unity, the great determination, discipline and dedication of a soldier who stands as a force to protect us and the territories of our country while sending the message of the power of unity and true patriotism. Ladies and gentlemen, we have 12 uniformed Platoons and 19 platoons from schools and other paramilitary contingents coming close to the salute wings. Salami means to take Sami, Parade Commander, Pujom Buchi, Devaspi, or Parade Twice Inspector Michi Sambu. पहला प्लाटून 138 बटालियन सीआरपीएफ इंस्पेक्टर एमडी नूर आलम के कमान पर प्लाटून ट्वाइसी हेड कांस्टेबल अशोक कुमार 
थर्टी फर्स्ट बटालियन आई के प्लाटून अब सलामी मंच के ठीक सामने इंस्पेक्टर नाबिंदर के कमांड पर है प्लाटून टू आई है एड कॉन्स्टेबल विकास कुमार marching ahead next is 15th irb nagaland women platoon commander absi salemla sangtum and platoon to ic head constable yemli khumla second appbn alo platoon commander si mijum dirchi and platoon to ic head constable tokar ngomdir बेस कदम का फासला रखते हुए अब सलामी मंच के सामने फर्स्ट आईआरबीएन नामसंग मुख प्लाटून सब इंस्पेक्टर पी के महाराज के कमांड पर प्लाटून टू आईसी है हेड कॉन्स्टेबल राजकुमार सलामी मंच के सामने अब ब्रास बैंड पीटीसी बंदर दिवा प्लाटून सब इंस्पेक्टर हेमो भूया के कमांड पर प्लाटून टू आईसी ए एस आई एस के दत्ता सारे जहां से अच्छा हिंदू सता हमारा के धुन पर मार्च करता हुआ अब सलामी मंच के सामने थर्ड आयरबियन सीजो सकम प्लाटून सब इंस्पेक्टर मोजेन मोयो के कमांड पर प्लाटून टू आईसी है हेड कॉन्स्टेबल टॉमी बागरा close to the salute base ladies and gentlemen next is fourth irbn juli with platoon commander si tage ranka and platoon to ic head constable monwang longri fifth irbn pasighat platoon commander si ripen yorak and platoon to ic kaling borang salami mach ki aur agar sir ptc ladies platoon लेडी सब इंस्पेक्टर बामांग याकुम के कमांड पर प्लाटून टू आई सी है लेडी कॉन्स्टेबल मेगी रीबा बीस कदम के फासले पर अब सलामी मंच के सामने पीटीसी जेंट्स प्लाटून नंबर वन सेला कंपनी एस आई बामे थामलाई के कमांड पर प्लाटून टू आई सी है कॉन्स्टेबल तोगाप शर्मा PTC Bands Gents Platoon Number no. One Siang Company S I Talin Motu ke command par Platoon to IC hai Constable Michi Naku. NCC Boys Malo Tarin Government Higher Secondary School Itanagar. The school Platoon Platoon Commander Sergeant Amit Das and Platoon to IC Bittu Biswas. NCC Girls Malatarin Government High Secondary School Itanagar Platoon Commander Sergeant Mepung Bokar Platoon to IC Sergeant Tugi Tarak Signing School Niglok Boys Pasighat ke platoon ab salami manch ke samne Cadet Vishu Longleju ke command par platoon to IC hai Cadet Liva Kena बीस कदम के फासले पर अब सलामी मंच के ठीक सामने गवर्नमेंट सेकेंडरी स्कूल पी सेक्टर ईटानगर बॉयज प्लाटून मिस्टर चिगिंग नीति के कमान पर प्लाटून टू आई सी है मिस्टर राशिदुल हक अब नेक्स्ट मार्चिंग क्लोज टू दल्यूट बेस वी के वी चिंपू गर्ल्स प्लाटून कमांडर Miss Chunu Niling and Platoon to IC Miss Tai Yari Next is Government High Secondary School Arunodaya Boys and Girls Platoon Commander Krigur Nake and platoon to ic mr vishal roy don bosco itanagar girls platoon miss ana baja ke command par platoon to ic hai miss yamir baja
बीकेबी बैंड प्लाटून पेटी से बंदर देवा अब सलामी मंच के सामने बबलू लोफा प्लाटून कमांडर प्लाटून टॉयसी ताबूम जामा डॉन बॉस्को इटानगर गर्ल्स मिस आना बाजा प्लाटून कमांडर मिस यामीर बाजा से प्लाटून टॉयसी ऑडियो मिशन स्कूल नाहरलगन गर्ल्स प्लाटून मिस तादर मेरी के कमांड पर प्लाटून टॉय से मिस लोकम मांगजू होली क्रॉस हायर सेकेंडरी स्कूल ईटानगर गर्ल्स प्लाटून मिस गेसमी रोमी के कमांड पर प्लाटून टॉय से मिस न्यामने तासिंग Government Secondary School, P Sector, Itanaga Girls, Platon Commander Koda Anya, and Platon to Isis Somia Thapa. Government Middle School, ESS Sector Boys, Mr. Sorang Taga, Platon Commander, and Mr. Taram Trigia, Platon to Isis. Government Higher Secondary School Ganga Boys, Platon Commander, Mr. Manoranjan. Nabam Tayub and Platon Tuwaisi Talom Tana. Government Secondary School Police Colony Boys, Mr. Harki Harku Yabe is the Platon Commander and Toko Thakar is the Platon Tuwaisi. Government Upper Primary School, Mob Two Boys, Harku Yabe, Platon Commander and Tana Tad, Platon to IC. And ladies and gentlemen, the band Platoon by Holy Cross Higher Secondary School, Itanaga. Platon Commander Ms. Charu Nanang and Platon to IC Ms. Ampung Nyari. तीन बैंड प्लाटून के मधुर धुनों पर सभी प्लाटून्स के द्वारा उपस्थित तमाम दर्शकों के समक्ष बहुत ही बेहतरीन मार्च पास का प्रदर्शन वास्तव में ये देखने लायक दृश्य है क्योंकि हर प्लाटून के जवान और बच्चे मार्चिंग ट्रैक पर एकता की लय प्रस्तुत करता हुआ बहुत ही शानदार मार्च पास का प्रदर्शन सभी प्लाटून्स के जरिए उस करिश्मे को हम महसूस करें जो हर मार्च करने वाला प्रदर्शित करता है ये वास्तव में एकता अनुशासन और दृढ़ संकल्प की भावना देता है तालमेल क्रम टीम भावना देखिए कैसे वे क्षेत्र और हमारे दिलों को मोहित कर लेते हैं बहुत ही बेहतरीन मार्च पास का प्रदर्शन दर्शकों की तालियों की गूंज के बीच सभी अब अपने स्थान की ओर अग्रसर होते हुए
स्वतंत्रता दिवस कैसे पावन अवसर पर अब माननीय मुख्यमंत्री महोदय राज्य के लोगों को संबोधित करेंगे इंडिपेंडेंस डे एड्रेस बाय ऑनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर अरुणाचल प्रदेश पेमा खांडू माय डियर बिलोव्ड डियर सिस्टर्स एंड ब्रदर्स ऑफ अरुणाचल प्रदेश ऑन दिस मोमेंटस एंड सैक्रेड ओकेजन ऑफ इंडिया सेवेंटी एट इंडिपेंडेंस डे I extend heartfelt greetings to each and every citizen of Arunachal Pradesh. We stand committed as we always have to fulfill the dreams and aspirations of every child, every youth, every woman, every farmer and every family. Our path of development involves break, breaking down barriers of identity, region, tribe, creed and re religion. I am filled with pride and gratitude. as we honor the legacy of our ancestors and embrace the aspirations of future generations we dream of an arunachal pradesh that rises like the dawn strong dynamic and resilient today i humbly pay homage to our honor and honor the memory of all freedom fighters and all our visionary leaders who came before me acknowledging their invaluable contribution towards the state and motherland their sacrifices laid the foundation for the freedom we enjoy today let us also not forget that many unsung heroes who whose contribution though not recorded in the history books were instrumental in our freedom struggle as our honorable prime minister shri narendra modi ji has said living for the motherland every day in every moment and in every aspects of our life will be our true tribute to the freedom fighters let us take this message to the heart and infuse it into our daily lives today let us honor our women youth farmer soldiers entrepreneurs artisans and each and every citizen of arunachal pradesh to together they represent the heart and soul of team arunachal their success is the true success of arunachal and bharat looking forward the future we are building the very foundation of viksit arunachal let us pledge with hearts full of hope and determination to continue this journey together as one through our collective efforts dedication and determination we can achieve remarkable milestones and transform our vision for a developed arunachal into reality in all our efforts and initiatives we have received unwavering support from our visionary honorable prime minister shri narendra modi ji and the entire government of india the degree of attention paid to arunachal pradesh and entire northeast region is unprecedented in the annals of history i am sure that the double engine government will march stronger together towards building a viksit arunachal and a viksit bharat my fellow citizens we have achieved unprecedented development in last 8 years i am confident that it will remain it will we will maintain this momentous momentum in years to come to build a viksit arunachal we aim for prosperity contentment and happiness for all citizens through holistic governance and investment in crucial sector such as health education skill development atmanirbharta and environmental sustainability a key pillars of our vision in investing in health care to improve well being and life expectancy by 2047 we aim to ensure holistic development for our pregnant women and children by transforming health indicators we are committed to achieve 100% child immunization and universal health insurance coverage for all citizens we aim for 100% universal and digital literacy and 100% net school enroll enrollment in the next 5 years to nurture a skilled and educated workforce ensuring proficiency in learning outcomes is the central of our vision We had a 3 day education chintin shivir termed shikshit or natural viksit or natural developing a time bound road map for the state's education sector in consultation with all the stakeholders though hard uh, through hard whole hearted support of our andadatas and sub substantial investment in the agriculture and allied sector we must leverage on our agriculture climatic potential to become the food ball of india Currently our GSDB contributes a modest 0.15% to national GDP but by 2047 we should aim to exceed to 5% signaling a robust economic expansion 
Harnessing our hydropower potential currently at 9% to over 90% will unlock sustainable energy solutions and drive industrial growth. We are expanding and modernizing road, rail, air network and improved connectivity, reduce travel times and logistic costs and enhance competitiveness. We are also investing in smart cities, upgrading public utilities and promoting green spaces to create livable, inclusive and resilient urban environments. By creating vibrant cultural hubs, preserving heritage sites and offering unique visitor experience, we aim to boost tourism revenue, create em employment opportunities and promote Arunachal Pradesh as a niche tourist, tourism destination. We are also prioritizing investment in industrial zones, manufacturing clusters, and critical infrastructure to attract investment and generate employment opportunities in, and foster in innovations. Our Natural Pradesh aims to build a developed economy with high per capita income and 100% renewable energy, setting an example for the nation with its com commitment to environment sustainability, industrialization, and higher per capita income. Celebrating our diverse indigenous tradition, art form, language, and custom, we aim to nurture a strong sense of identity and belonging. Fellow citizens, Vixit or Natural's true sense lies not just in economic metrics or industrial advancement, but in the quality of our life for all. Together, we determine we, with determination, solidarity, and innovation, we can make Arunachal Pradesh a developed, equitable, and a vibrant state. As our Honorable Prime Minister observed, every, every decision is linked just with one yardstick, that's nations first, leading to far-reaching positive results. And that's why this period of reform, perform, and transform is now shaping the future Bharat. Building our strong foundation, Team Arunachal must now focus on Reform 3.0, targeting administration, governance, and senior and citizen service uh, delivery. The decisive mandate in the recent election reflects a clear desire for continued development, policy stability, and good governance. In the very first meeting of the state cabinet, our government has approved 24 -centric, citizen centric decisions with a commitment to implement them in next 100 days. These decisions are a stepping stone towards building Vixit or Natural. Our Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji emphasized that India's Yuva Shakti is our greatest strength, highlighting the pivotal role of our youth in shaping our nation's future as one of the India's youngest and most aspirational states. We focus on fostering the development and empowering our youth. To underscore the significant role, we have declared 2024-25 as the year of youth, ensuring that they have the opportunities, resources, and support to achieve their dreams and contribute to the state's and nation's progress. To enhance access to higher and technical education, we have provided 100% scholarship for all uh, youths gaining admission in the IITs. We will also provide 75% reimbursement for training costs for our youth to obtain commercial pilot license and merchant navy certifications. Under the innovative Arunachal Pradesh Scholarship for Academic Excellence Scheme, we will provide a scholarship to all APST youth who gain admission in the top global universities. To ensure a skilled and efficient workforce, we are identifying the uh, we are identifying development departmental vacancies and preparing annual calendar uh, recruitment in advance. The Arunachal Pradesh Public Service Commission has already launched the 2024 exam calendar. We have also enacted the Arunachal Pradesh Public Measures to Prevent Unfair Means in Recruitment Act 2024 to ensure fair exams. We are completely monitoring the skill development, entrepreneurship and employment sector with a coordinated approach, thereby provi providing over 25,000 employment and self-employment opportunities in the next five years for our youth, especially women. To honor our valor of our Agnivirs, we are launching the Arunachal Agnivir Abhiyan to train our youth for careers in armed forces, paramilitary, and police services. 
Retired Agnivir will be given preference in recruitment to Arunachal Pradesh Police, Arunachal Pradesh Battalions, Fire and Emergency Services to leverage their skill, experience and skills. We will launch the Chief Minister's Youth Helpline offering 24 by 7 free telephonic counselling service for our youth. Youth decks will be set up in Arunachal Bhavans in Kolkata, Guwahati and Delhi to support the youth residing, studying and working in these metros. We will design an innovative youth policy focusing on youth aspiration, education, skilling, health and entrepreneurship dreams. A sportsperson from Arunachal Pradesh have made us proud by winning accolades in various national and international events. To further support higher potential athletes to compete in the 2028 and 2032 Olympic Games, along with Asian Games and other major competitions, we are launching the Arunachal Pradesh Sports Mission. Arunachal Pradesh proudly hosted the 77th Santosh Trophy, a first of a northeastern states along other national and international events to continue this momentum and elevate our capacity to host similar events we are going to build a world class fifa standard football stadium with a 25000 plus capacity education is the cornerstone of our society and the key to unlock our state's full potential our commitment to modernize education remains unwavering we are therefore investing around rupees 2,000 crores in education in this financial year through the Arun Shuri mission. To improve the quality of learning, we have identified specific learning outcomes for various classes and our highest priority will be to ensure that our children achieve age-appropriate learning milestone so that we can reduce school drops out at all levels. I thank the Government of India for launching the National Education Policy 2020. We are committed to full-fledged implementation of national education policy in our state. Our aim is to provide universal access to education, improve learning outcomes, develop 21st century skill among students, and enhance efficiency of teaching through rigorous training and capacity building. We are formulating a policy to attract top educational institutes to set up campuses in Arunachal Pradesh and encourage our participation from community-based organizations, NGOs, and other CSOs in the field of education. I extend my heartfelt thanks to Government of India for providing a grant of rupees 500 crores for transforming 50 secondary and senior secondary schools into Golden Jubilee schools. We are closely monitoring all the progress of this task. We have registered, we have regularized over 1,000 contractual teachers. This year, we will fill up all vacancies in government schools and colleges with qualified teachers, including regularization of SSA teachers. Our first scenic school in East Siang and the PPP Mode Scenic School in Tawang has successfully commenced classes. We are committed to further invest in these institutions to promote quality education. I am proud to announce that the Arunachal Pradesh State University has also commenced classes from the academic year 2023-2024. The state flagship Dindyal Upadhyay Salomban Yojana has supported over 1,000 youths and women to obtain funding of around rupees 400 crores for their entrepreneurial ventures. This year, we aim to support 1,000 more entrepreneurs with allocation of rupees 100 crores. I sincerely thank our beloved Prime Minister for launching the Unity Scheme with an outlay of about 10,000 crores for industrial development of Northeast. Aligning with Unity Scheme, we will notify a new Arunachal industrial policy to attract investment in a specific sector for non-polluting industries. We have established six ITIs and 10 PMKKS for train and trained over 34,000 youth, highlighting our commitment and empowering youth with industry-oriented skills. Our startups are making real impact and generating revenue. Each year, we fund and support up to 50 startups. We have also been recognized by the government of India as a top performer in the state startup ranking 2022. We will also set up 
incubation cells in higher education institutions and nurture innovative business ideas for our young entrepreneurs and aim to establish an investment promotion agency to further facilitate investment in this state. Arunachal Pradesh, with its breathtaking landscapes and di diverse ecosystem, aims to become the high-end tourist destination. We plan to balance development with environmental preservation, creating a sustainable model. To harness the state's untapped tourism potential, we will notify a new tourism policy. To aim, our aim is to attract investment and provide employment and self-employment opportunities for our youth, while keeping in mind the ecological caring capacity of our tourist destination. An attractive film policy, film tourism policy will promote Ornatal as a destination for filmmakers. Fostering entrepreneurship, we will clear, certify, and train local guides and ensure high standards in tourism and hospitality and partner with hospitality aggregators to develop tourism hub. We are committed to the holistic and inclusive development of women in Arunachal Pradesh, aligning with Honorable Prime Minister's vision for a new India where women are empowered and equal partners in development. We have mobilized and trained over 1,10,000 women into 13,000 plus self-help groups with 3,400 self-help groups securing nearly rupees 75 crores as bank credit. We will fully implement Shaksham Anganwadi and Potion 2.0 to ensure the nutritional well-being for adolescent girls, pregnant women, and lactating mothers and children. We are revamping the Dularia Dulari Kanaya scheme providing incentives up to rupees 50,000 to every Galchai from Arunachal Pradesh enrolling in graduation or professional courses. We will empower at least 21,000 women from Arunachal Pradesh to become Lakpati Didis over the next five years, enabling them to earn an annual income of more than rupees 1 lakh, thereby achieving a higher standard of living for their families. We are also constructing 200 pink toilets across districts to ensure safe and hygiene sanitation facilities for women. We celebrate the Nari Shakti Adiniyam, which reserves 33% seats in our Legislative Assembly for women, strengthening our democracy and honoring their contribution. My dear fellow citizens, health remains our top priority as we strive to build a Vixit, a healthy Arunachal. We aim to create a robust and inclusive health system, enhancing our state's health infrastructure to match national standards. We thank Government of India for increasing MEBS seeds in trims from 50 to 100. One of the key challenges in the state is, face, is facing is the prevalence of drug abuse and HIV infection. We are taking a multifaceted approach to end this menace of drug addiction in our state. Together, let us work to combat the drug menace in our state. I urge and encourage my fellow citizens to adopt healthy habits and active lifestyles. We firmly believe that our indigenous ethos is the most integral part of our identity. We are India's largest repository of indigenous languages, cultures, and tradition. With the vision of Vikasbi, Virasadbi, we are committed to ensure that our unique linguist, linguistic, cultural, and social identity is adequately preserved, protected, and promoted. We have established six indigenous gurukuls. Seeing their success, we will establish four more gurukuls in this year. We are proud of our indigenous handicraft and products, which forms our collective heritage. Therefore, having worked closely with communities and obtained geographical indication tags for 20 indigenous products, we will here on endeavor our to get GI tags for more products. We extend gratitude to Honorable Prime Minister Saab for laying the foundation stone for the Ekta Mall, which will be constructed at a cost of rupees 188 crores to showcase our indigenous one district, one product, and GI tag products of to the world. We will also notify a new Arunachal Pradesh handloom and handicraft policy, along with one tribe, one wave mission to preserve 
and promote our indigenous textiles and handicrafts. Agriculture and allied sector are crucial for our economy. This year, we are investing around 600 crores to support the farmers by expanding cultivation, enhancing productivity, improving farmers' remunerations, and boosting exports, particularly of organic and natural products. We have benefited around 20,000 individuals and over 300 self-help groups by increasing front-ended subsidies under Admi Nirva Ornachal Yojana. We will notify a new farm to fork agriculture and horticulture policy focusing on natural farming, higher farm gate prices, enhanced market linkage, and crop exports to boost farmers' income. After a decade of neglect, we are now progressing rapidly in infrastructure and civil amenities with strong support from government of India. However, filling the gaps of 70 years is a monumental task. We will determine to provide basic amenities like road, water, housing, electricity, and internet to all citizens. To enhance the quality of life of our citizens, we will ensure 100% physical and digital connectivity for all the unconnected villages and administrative headquarters. We will provide portable wat water. We had provided portable water to over 2 lakh households making us the first in the Northeast to achieve 100% Hargal Jal under Jal Jeevan mission. We will also extend water supply to remaining schools, Anganwadis, and PSCs. I am proud to announce that under Pradhan Mentri Awaz Yojana, we have successfully provided housing to more than 40,000 households in the rural areas and urban areas, ensuring a better living standards for the people of Arunachal. With the inauguration of Doni Polo Airport in, it in Itanagar, we now have direct flights to Delhi and Calcutta. We are expecting flights to Guwahati soon. We are expediting the construction of a new terminal building and an ATC complex in the Doni Polo Airport. Our state holds significant ge geostrategic importance in national security due to its international borders with Bhutan, Tibet, and China. Therefore, and Myanmar. Therefore, the government of India has initiated a vibrant village program for the development of 455 border villages. Truly, these villages are now India's first village. We are undertaking the construction of rural connectivity, over, 1, 000, over 120 habitations with an investment of rupees 3,000 crores. We will provide upfront subsidies to ornatural use for purchasing buses and in, for intra-city operations in Itanagar Nahalagan region and routes connecting district headquarters to Itanagar. We will construct a common directorate complex in Itanagar with an aim to centralize the administrative functionaries of various departments under one roof, roof thereby providing efficiency in governance. I am proud to share that we have achieved 100% targeted rural electrification across our state we are investing rupees 1,000 crore to revamp our power sector infrastructure to ensure 24 by 7 sub power supply to every household. We are committed to implement the Pradhan Mentri Surya Gar Muft Bijli Yojana, which aims to provide free electricity to eligible household by subsidizing rooftop solar units installations. Our state has immense hydropower potential of 58 gigawatts, that is 58,000 megawatts, representing about 40% of India's total potential. Our installed hydropower capacity has surged remarkably by 213% from 405 megawatts in 2015-16 to 1.2 gigawatt by 2023, making Ornachal the second power surplus state in the Northeast. The construction of two gigawatt lower Suvansri hydro project, presently India's largest uh, hydropower project, is now 90% complete and will conclude by December 2024. The 2.4 gigawatt debunk multipurpose project, for which our Honorable Prime Minister recently performed the groundbreaking ceremony, will become the largest in the country upon completion. We have signed agreements with four central public sector undertakings to revive 13 installed mega hydro projects with a capacity of about 13 gigawatts. 
with a sustainable investment of nearly rupees 1,40 lakh crores. This initiative is projected to generate an annual revenue of rupees 10,000 crores, including rupees 3,500 crores worth of free power annually, and also the local area development fund of rupees 250 crore each year. Upon completion of all these projects, Arunachal Pradesh will have the highest per capita income in the country. We welcome the three transformative law passed by the Government of India, the Bharatiya Naya Sanghita, Bharatiya Nagrik Suraksha Sanghita, and the Bharatiya Sakshya Adiniyam. And we are committed to their effective implementation for peace, progress, and prosperity of the state. We will, uh, we will adopt advanced technologies like GIS, artificial intelligence, and machine learning for crime mapping and monitoring. Good governance is key to achieving Vixit or Natal. We have touched the lives of approximately 15 lakh beneficiaries through Sarkar Aapke Dwar and Seva Aapke Dwar 2.0. And now we aim to revamp Seva Aapki Dwar to deliver benefits and entertainment rights at the doorsteps to all the beneficiaries. On the very first day of our new administration, I have signed the first file approving the allocation of rupees 100 crores under the Chief Minister's Social Security Scheme. This initiative will intend to benefit approximately 80,000 widows, elderly and differently abled individuals. To check the demographic, demographic shift with fast development and enhanced connectivity, we will develop a robust ILP mechanism to protect our indigenous tradition and practices. In the past eight years, we have transferred almost rupees 8,000 crore directly to the beneficiary bank accounts. We are committed to have achieved 100% DBT using the Jandan Adar Mobile Trinity, enabling faster and accurate payments. I commend our brave uniform contingents, the police forces, and also the police force from Nagaland, our NCC carers, scouts and guides, and school children from the ceremonial march pass. Looking at the perfection achieved by our youth in this parade, I have no hesitation in saying that the future of Arunachal Pradesh is indeed, our indeed in our nation is in, in safe hands. As we gather here to celebrate the 78th Independence Day, I salute the efforts of all citizens, public leaders, and the CBOs who have wholeheartedly taken part in this celebration of Har Gar Tiranga initiative through, throughout the state with favor and dedication and patriotism. This initiative is the powerful testament of our collective spirit and national pride. I am here to stand by you as a companion, to serve you, to stay connected with you, to live alongside you, and to fight for you. I have embarked in this journey with unwavering determination, inspired by the struggles and dreams of our ancestors who fought for independence. I am sure their blessing and sacrifice will be with us today. This Amrit Kal is a time of duty for all of us. It is the period for us to contribute to our community, our state, and our great nation. My beloved citizens, let us embark on this journey with the unrenewed, with a renewed vigor and determination. Let us pledge to leave no stone unturned. The future we shape today will be the legacy we leave for generations to come. With this belief and determination, I extend my best wishes and congratulations to all of you on the occasion of the 78th Independence Day. Jai Hind, Jai Ornachal.